All right, so let's see how much I'm about to expose myself right now. Welcome back to my channel, guys. So I did just post a quick video showing you guys my postpartum body, just what it looks like and everything like that. And I wanted to make a separate video about the postpartum changes because just looking from the outside, you don't really know or you can't tell much. But I want to tell you guys the real, the real tea about what your body is like after having a baby. Majority of this happened after I had Belle, but it happened again after I had Beige. So I just wanted to share with you guys. If you're curious, you want to know a little insight. And if you just had a baby, so you don't feel alone either. So let's just get right into it. So I have a full list of changes that happen to your body. I was aiming for 10, but it looks like I got 16. So that's great. So let's just start. The number one thing that I noticed with Belle, and then I noticed this time around too, a little bit, is postpartum hair loss. I'm not sure if you guys can tell. You probably can't tell right now, but yeah it's actually not that bad this time around but with bell i lost a ton of hair right here in these two areas actually with bell i think i had like two big bald spots and now i actually didn't lose that much this time around thankfully not yet anyway i think i actually lost it around the four month mark with bell beige is she makes two months next week so super excited about that but that just means i'm hoping that it doesn't happen but the hair loss might really kick in around four months so let's just hope it doesn't really happen but yeah that's something to look forward to unfortunately postpartum hair loss is a thing and i feel like it happens to pretty much everyone so it is what it is all right the next one you guys won't expect this one at all i definitely didn't expect this one but you're gonna be a lot hairier i don't know why but i think whenever you're pregnant well for me whenever i got pregnant just the hormones whatever happened with my hormones made my body just a lot hairier and i get hair in places that i don't want to get them one being my stomach so i get hair right here like a lot i actually do bleach it and i remove it wax it everything like that and it actually doesn't look that bad today thankfully because i'm on camera but it does get very very hairy and i noticed that a lot when i was pregnant whatever you do don't pluck it because if you plug it then well especially if you're like of darker complexion like me or if you have any melanin in your skin then you may have like little marks like little hair marks from ingrown hairs so don't pluck it whatever you do try to bleach it or like cut it with a little tiny pair of scissors because it's just not cute whenever you get those little dots but yeah you get hair in places where you don't expect it that's one of them just everywhere else where i have unwanted hair i feel like i have more of it so that's just great but yeah that's just a part of it I think that after a while it does settle out maybe like a year postpartum then you start getting back to normal once your hormones start getting back to normal so yeah something to look forward to there I actually do get my like full body wax so I don't have to deal with it because I cannot physically shave my body every single day it's just too much especially with the babies I can't do it the third thing I have on my list this is the obvious one everyone gets this everyone knows about this but it's weight gain like I said in my last video I did gain 25 pounds with my pregnancy so far I lost 20 so I still have five extra pounds and it's not a lot but I do think that on yourself you can tell like I feel like I can see it on my face like my face I feel like it's very fat my face has always been fat and it's like round and I have like fleshy cheeks but i do feel like postpartum my face looks chunkier so yeah weight gain is the thing i'm blessed or i'm thankful to only have gained 25 pounds and have lost most of it already but i know that's not the case for everyone and weight gain is just a natural thing that happens with pregnancy you have to gain weight to carry a healthy baby it's just you have to do it yeah so this goes along with weight gain so you do get fat or I have gotten fat in places where I didn't really expect. So like you guys can see my stomach is pretty flat. But I do have more fat like places like here. Like in my back. I don't know if you guys can see. Let's see. I'll turn around and expose myself. But I do have back fat here. And my arms are a little bit chunkier. Right? <laughs> Love that for me. Um, I also have a postpartum double chin. I'll show you guys. So yeah, I don't know if you guys can see. You probably can't. But if I do like this, like looking down, I definitely have some 
fat there and for me i would say that's like an unexpected place because i've never had a double chin before i got pregnant and then after i got pregnant with Belle, it's like it just came and it just stayed and i feel like i don't i didn't notice it until after i gave birth like once the weight started dropping off and it stayed here that's whenever i really noticed it so that's one reason why i do want to lose just a little bit of weight maybe like five to ten pounds just to help with that um where else do i have weight and in my boobs i mean that's expected you you just like to gain weight in your boobs but yeah so just expect to whenever you do start losing your weight or if you feel like you don't really have a lot of postpartum fat you might have it in places where you didn't really expect like your chin or your arms or <laughs> places like that where you don't want it but it is what it is <laughs> I feel like I'm being such a snob in this video because I'm like pointing out all my flaws but honestly I just want to be real with you guys and show you that I am a real person and just because I did lose a lot of my postpartum weight does not mean I am not dealing with postpartum issues like everyone else and I just want to you know let you guys in on what it's actually like so skin darkening I did see a lot of this on Twitter I okay so I saw a lot of people on Twitter like with darker bellies after they have their baby and that is completely normal that's a part of having a baby your skin does get a little bit darker for me I feel like I notice a little bit of skin darkening like on my chin you can't really see it anymore I feel like it's gone now but I feel like my chin was a little bit darker so expect maybe to have like a little bit of skin darkening after your baby loose belly skin so I showed you guys in the last video a little bit but my belly skin is kind of loose i'll show you guys up close it's not super loose but you guys can see that it just jiggled a little bit but i have a little jiggle here it's not a, like anything crazy but i feel like after my belly stretched out so much and i do still have a little bit of fat here it's gonna have some loose loose belly skin so yeah your belly's gonna be really soft after your baby don't expect to have like washboard abs or anything like that like i said i've never had really i had abs before but my belly has always been kind of flat so now it's just kind of flat but like loose and kind of soft so i did just recently start working out so i'm hoping that we can get some nice abs going on here in maybe a few months or so under eye circles i don't know if this is a postpartum thing or if this is just a lack of sleep thing but you guys probably can't tell because i have concealer on today but right under here i do have dark under eye circles and i'm pretty sure it's from a lack of sleep but the lack of sleep is also from taking care of a newborn so i feel like that kind of ties into the whole postpartum things right i don't know that could just be me but the next thing i have on here is the linea niagara i believe that's how you say it but it's just this little dark line that goes from your belly button down sometimes it goes down and up for me it just goes down and i do still have that i believe that it lasts for maybe like a few months after you have your baby i don't really know it doesn't really bother me but i just want to show you guys to show you what it looks like I just touched my c-section scar too so i want to tell you guys about that just because it made me think of it because i touched it and it kind of hurt a little bit but i do have a scar that goes here i'm not going to show it to you because that would be exposing too much down there because it is pretty low but i do have a little c-section scar and if you have a c-section then expect to have that after your baby honestly it doesn't really bother me because i feel like i would rather have a scar and have my baby and have my life than not have a scar so that's just what that is and yeah like i said if you have a c-section then expect to have a scar it is very minimal and it's very thin so that's a plus to that the next thing that you can expect after a baby that i have definitely experienced is bigger boobs and your boobs may sag a little bit just because they fill up so much whether you breastfeed or not you can expect a little bit of sagging if you do breastfeed then girl i feel you but <laughs> also along with bigger boobs you may get bigger areolas i think that this is has to do with breastfeeding like a biological thing i'm not really sure but your areolas may get pretty big postpartum that's something i have to deal with but it is what it is it's just one of those things that you have to deal with after having a baby swelling so i put this on the list because i do think that it is really not important but it is something that i did notice after having beige 
So after having beige for the first few weeks, I was very, very swollen. I think from a combination of the surgery and I think just in general, whenever you are pregnant, you swell up. You retain a lot of water weight, so it makes you swell. And I noticed after the swelling went down that I was swollen. So expect to be pretty swollen after you have a baby and even postpartum. For a while you may be swollen i think even when you're breastfeeding you retain a lot of water weight so i still might even be swollen i'm not really sure i won't be able to tell 100 percent for sure until after i'm done breastfeeding and like my hormones go back to normal the last thing that i have on my list as far as changes is hormonal changes and mood swings so this isn't a physical change obviously i mainly made the video about like physical changes but this is a big change that you may have after having a baby when you have the hormonal changes your body is the hormones are all over the place you just had a baby you might be breastfeeding you might not be breastfeeding either way it goes your hormones are going to be all over the place and when your hormones are all over the place you can expect night sweats i definitely went through that you can expect mood swings fatigue irritability so just be kind to yourself after you have a baby because you are literally your body just went through so much and you are literally still going through so much with your hormones and you just don't want to put too much pressure on yourself to be perfect or get it get everything right the main things that i just want to suggest to you guys and the little i guess advice that i want to give you guys that i want to leave with you in this video is to take care of yourself literally you cannot do anything unless you take care of yourself your babies need you to take care of yourself it's the only way that you'll be able to take care of them so take it easy on yourself drink water and get as much sleep as you possibly can they say sleep when a baby sleeps and if you can then sis sleep when that baby sleeps because you need as much sleep as you can get after having a newborn and get as much help as you can if you can get help from your family your friends if you can afford to pay for help, then I'm all for that. Pay for convenience, pay for help, because it's gonna make your life so much easier and it's just gonna make you all the better of a person and you're just gonna feel all around better and you're gonna be able to take care of your baby so much better whenever you take care of yourself. So that is my one piece of advice in this video is to take care of yourself and don't let all of these body changes bring you down or discourage you or anything like that because it is just a period of time and pretty soon you'll be back to your old self and even if you're not back to your old self and you're a new self and you're improved that's even better but your baby is only a newborn for so long so try to soak it up as much as you can i feel like with Belle, i was in like a whirlwind of just like the emotions and the hormones and everything that i feel like i missed so much of her newborn phase and it makes me so sad but with beige i'm like trying to take it a little bit slower and trying to appreciate the moments and not put too much pressure on myself so if you can do that too then i 110 percent suggest it so yeah that is just the end of this video i think i'm just gonna close it out here i hope that this was maybe informative entertaining yeah if you guys still like the video then make sure that you comment like and subscribe like i always say and i will see you in my next one